Hi and welcome back to the CSR House Project Series. Windows are vital for the comfort of the house by letting natural light and fresh air in and allowing views out. Getting the design right will not only make your house look and feel great, but will be one of the best things you can do for your home's energy efficiency. A typical well-insulated house with ordinary clear single glazing loses up to 49% of heat through windows in winter. And believe it or not, the same windows can allow up to a massive 87% of solar heat gain in summer. Our aim with the CSR house is an eight-star energy rating. But even for a standard six-star energy rating, you need to think past wall and ceiling insulation and really consider your windows insulating properties. The climate you live in will pretty much determine what you need your windows to do. In warmer climates, the, the aim is to keep as much of the heat outside uh, rather than finding its way inside. In colder climates, it's clearly a case of keeping the heat in. It's a case of bringing daylight in. It's bringing as much solar gain in. Uh, so when you're trying to achieve that with windows, which are the weak link, if you like, generally, in terms of preventing the heat loss, uh, you need to get more higher performing windows. The main elements you need to consider for good window design are orientation, size, placement and glazing. It's a bit of a balancing act. How do you make the most of available light and views while providing fresh air without compromising energy efficiencies? The balance that we need to we need to draw when we're uh, putting putting windows into a building, a passive design building, is that we need to put in around about 70% of the glass on the northern side. That gives us then the opportunity to allow the winter sun to enter. The windows, however, need to be uh, designed as a what we call a glass area to floor area ratio. So the ratio needs to be established so that it, it's it's correct and it works for that particular climatic zone. The second thing is you need to make sure that you've got sufficient glass on the northern side that will open up to bring in the, the breeze paths and allow the, the, the building to vent. So you need the, the south windows and the north windows to line up in some way so you can facilitate what we call breeze paths through the building and facilitate a cooling effect. So if you've got 70% of your glass on the northern, northern side, you don't need to have the lights put on till, till 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock at night. So you are getting a much better ambiance throughout the whole house all day. For other orientations on the building, like the, the east, west and the south, we need to be very careful about how much glass we put in those areas. The style of window is, is, is quite, quite flexible these days. And in terms of the openings we've got, we've got sliding windows, double hung, awning, uh, and casement, a whole range of different types, types of windows. And each window has specific uh, values that we need to consider. We've chosen casement and awning windows for a variety of reasons. One of those is for getting good ventilation in the building, but also from an architectural perspective, we get one sheet of glass, one pane, one sash that architecturally looks better rather than with double hung having breaks in the, in the, in the glass. So how can you have big beautiful windows that allow maximum light, air and warmth in when you need them and out when you don't? Well, one of the best ways to uh, cut uh, or exclude solar gain from buildings is by shading. By simply getting the overhang dimensions right, you can allow sun to come inside the building in winter and exclude it uh, in, in summer. Uh, you may also, on the east and west facades of the building, use external vertical shading, for example, or use vegetation uh, as a way of excluding sun. So we've got the placement and style right, but one of the things that'll make the biggest difference to your window's thermal performance is the glass you use. Glass performance is measured in two ways. U value, or the amount of heat conducted through the materials of the window, either escaping the home in winter or entering in summer. The lower the U value, the better the thermal efficiency. And solar heat gain coefficient, SHGC, which means the proportion of radiant heat from the sun which gets through the window. SHGC is a number between 0 and 1. The lower the number, the less solar heat enters through the window. Glass is made by melting sand, soda ash, dolomite and limestone together at approximately 1500 degrees centigrade.
The molten glass flows from the furnace and floats over a bath of molten tin. Low E coatings can be applied in the float process, whilst the glass is in its molten stage. This forms a hard durable transparent coating that improves insulation performance and various levels of solar heat control. It's then gradually cooled to anneal the glass, a process which prevents the stresses and strains that can happen during cooling and makes the glass able to be cut and further processed. Glass is the only building material that not only insulates us from temperature extremes, but can also control the amount of light and heat that comes in and out of our homes. Many contemporary homes use large areas of glass, often in unshaded applications and challenging orientations. This demands the use of energy efficient glazing in order to balance the design ideas with energy performance. There are lots of different types of glass to choose from and that's part of the point, but you can break them down into about four different categories. We'd start off with a toned glass. Now that's a glass that has a uh, colour to it which absorbs some of the sun's radiation and keeps that heat out of your home. So toned glass gives you the opportunity to balance the amount of light coming in against the amount of heat coming in. Unfortunately that doesn't afford you any better insulation performance. For that you need to step up to something like our smart glass range which has a microscopically thin coating applied to its surface. Now this coating is referred to as a low emissivity coating or low E coating. And what that implies is that the heat in the glass is not emitted from that surface, so it keeps it out of your home. At the same time, it reflects some of the heat from the inside of your home back off that surface better than ordinary glass would. So in a manner of speaking, it redirects the heat. Fruitian Smart Glass will give you up to 39% better insulation than the equivalent ordinary glass. Beyond that, we've got a product range called Comfort Plus. That brings together all of the benefits of Smart Glass with its low emissivity coating, but combines it into a laminate so that you end up with the benefits of an improved acoustic performance, higher security, and to some extent, a uh, more safe glass than you would have had otherwise. At the top of the tree is double glazing. And the idea there is you've got two pieces of glass either side of an air gap. That air gap works a little bit like a thermos, no vacuum in these ones, but the discontinuity between glass and air and glass means that you get a better insulation factor than would have been the case with a single piece of glass. Combine that with a low E as well, and you can achieve very high levels of performance, not possible with a single piece of glass. The double glazed units used in this facility are a combination of two lots of different low emissivity glass in conjunction with the double glazed unit that they fit in. They incorporate argon gas for added performance, and they offer a superior level of performance compared to any other single glazed option and many other double glazed. Glazing goes a long way to an energy efficient window, but it's not the whole story. Another important element that's often overlooked is the frame. When you look at the total area of a window, uh, the frame may be one two hundredth of the total area, but it may have a conductivity which is 200 times more than the normal glass. So it may end up transmitting the same amount of energy. So you should be looking at the frame and the glass type uh, as well. You want to have thermal break in frames to stop the conductive gain through the frames. Aluminium frames, apart from the fact that it is more durable, it lasts much longer, uh, it is recyclable uh, as well, uh, it is also uh, more affordable, generally speaking. We wanted the strength, longevity and cost effectiveness of aluminium, but with good looks and all the thermal properties we need to maintain for our 8 star energy rating. So we're using Trend Thermal Windows, which has a revolutionary frame and has a new patented insulating skin. The, the thermal uh, product is essentially an aluminium window that is manufactured as a standard aluminium window or a door. Aluminium being a really good conductor of energy has to be broken in some way to stop the energy transfer internal to external or external to internal. So the ERP acts as that break rather than building it in to the middle of the aluminium and cutting that. We attach it to the inside so it's a much more cost efficient solution and it already has uh, stabilisers built into the product so it's already UV stable. Thermal will rate down to U values of 
2.5, 2.6 in windows and doors and 2.1 in a fixed light. And we see it as the most energy efficient aluminium window and door system in Australia at the moment. And there's even more you can do to ensure maximum thermal efficiency when you're installing your windows. One of the biggest factors that undermines a good window system is air leakage. At installation, windows should overlap the internal and external lining and be attached to the building wrap. Other small gaps need to be sealed with a sealant and any larger voids should be packed with bulk insulation. You mightn't be able to see the gaps behind the architraves, but if there are any, they'll be sucking heat into and out of your room. Air leakage can seriously compromise the thermal efficiency of your windows, making heating and cooling systems work even harder. So there's a bit more to windows than most people think. And with so much emphasis on saving energy, with new regulations and mandatory disclosure of a home's energy ratings, ensuring your building envelope is efficient is not only going to save you money on your power bills, but will also add value to your home. If you'd like any information on what we've talked about today, you can visit viridianglass.com.au or trendwindows.com.au. We'll be back with more on the CSR House very soon. You can watch previous webisodes and catch up on the latest news at csr.com.au or on YouTube. I hope to see you then. <laughs>